I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for you Sagittarius for the week of August the 14th. Now quite a lot happening at the moment. We're in between two eclipses. Mercury is going retrograde on the 12th. So that's going to be a little bit disruptive, particularly over that weekend. Um, so if you're listening to this before the weekend of the uh, 12th and 13th, then uh, you know, just be aware that, you know, this can get confusing, unsettled, a little bit chaotic even, and misunderstandings are, you know, easily, can easily happen, and particularly as Mercury sits in your career zone. So anything to do with work, you want to take just a little extra care, okay? Don't assume anything. Don't assume that someone's done something and you don't have to deal with it, and you're going to have to to just you know ask the questions and double check it doesn't mean to say you have to get into micromanaging your, your, your life or anyone else's life Sagittarius but you do need to just you know be perhaps a little responsible about what's going on or what's not going on okay now once we do get out of this sort of turn it's always the two or three days before and after the retrograde turn that can be uh, you know more confusing so once you get out of that then it's a great time to do some planning set your goals rethink about where you are with work and what's happening where you want to go whether you're going to push forward pull back and any changes you're going to make so that's a great time to to just reassess everything now there is a connection between Saturn in your sign and the Sun and this is going to be very very good for uh, learning or taking on a new level of information or knowledge or education okay and something that's going to help you in the future and help you just um, set you up more and help your career be more solid for the future okay and your ruling planet Jupiter has two aspects of it this week towards the end of the week um, one with Venus will square Jupiter and the other one Mars will sextile Jupiter which is opening up for opportunities so the Venus square is uh, can be in an area of um, friendship it's you know intimacy and sharing things with other uh, people um, you know you not everybody needs to know all of your business Sagittarius but some people need to know some of it and when you're open to sharing more of yourself at a deeper level that's when you build um, you know relationships of substance so you can take a relationship to a much deeper level now if you're dealing with monetary issues and particularly other people's money and uh, in this sense if it's a to do with a friend then you want to be a little careful of what's going on there make sure once again you have all the details and you know make sure everybody knows what's going on because we do have an opposition between Pluto and Venus so this is affecting both of your money houses so once again there's a message for you to take control don't assume someone else knows what's going on you don't want something coming back later when somebody's saying well I I didn't know about that and you say well I just assume that you you know you you knew what was going on so that's sort of like a message that comes through on a couple of different levels for you this week um, now towards the end of this week at the start of next week on the 21st we'll have the uh, solar eclipse so this is in an area so right now in this area chart the sun is there and uh, Mars is there as well Mars and the sun you know are still in a degree orb of influence that's quite powerful and this is an area of you and so we did have the sun there with the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse is going to be in this area of your chart so for you Sagittarius it opens up travels particularly of an international um, you know far away sort of travels in this ninth house area and 
um, it can really be the start of something new and fabulous. The solar eclipse sort of is like the new moon, so it's opened up new beginnings. And because it's eclipse, it's like a supercharged new moon. So, you know, that does indicate that something fabulous is going to happen. Do be careful, of course, with the Mercury retrograde. Uh, yet you make everything clear. It's very good for uh, knowledge as well and also it's it's very nice for love. I like the ninth house for love as in soul connections of love. So uh, watch out for that and with that solar eclipse it does open up the new starts, new beginnings in some way. So all good there. Um, all right, so the card I selected for you is a card from my favorite pack, John Holland Psychic Tarot Pack, and it's Partnerships and Alliances. Okay, so certainly with that eighth house energy, it's very much about bonding together with people and bonding together for um, for um, certainly financial in this sense. It's a three, so it's creativity, lots of communication and bonding t together to come um, to the party and what am I trying to say, to agree on things. So there's like a mutual agreeance there and so that's very, very nice. Even if people are on different sides of the table, there's always that option of agreeing to a disagree, okay? Uh, but I think that's sort of a very nice card for you which just opens the vibration and, and way for amical communications and amical bull gatherings with people and particularly on an international level. Okay, so do please go along and have a look at jenniferangel.com. I have uh, included a new variation of time and price on the Psychic Astrology reading and if you wouldn't mind subscribing to this channel and my newsletter if you haven't already. Okay, thanks so much. Bye for now.